Hi folks, welcome back to The Pulse. Today's episode features some quite shocking information from Dr. Xi, whom I interviewed again recently. And I wanted to present this to you uh, in a topical form in one video because really it's just quite amazing to me. We're talking about what age should you start taking or consider taking NMN. Now I'm not saying you should or should not take NMN first and foremost at any age, but if you're interested in reaping the benefits that myself and others have felt from taking NMN, in, what age is the right time to start taking it? Well, before I get there, first I wanted to play you another clip where Dr. Shi talks about the root benefit of taking NMN and how it can reduce inflammation for arthritis sufferers. For arthritis, mm -hmm. I believe the mechanism is through the anti-inflammatory property uh, of you know, NMN and NAD and, and the whole NAD metabolize. And so the, the NAD and NAD metabolize, and has put in this way, uh, uh, have very potent anti-inflammatory properties, probably better than many of the anti-inflammatory drugs that are sold. So I think it's really important to start there because we need to understand why Dr. Shi thinks NMN is helping people so much because it's reducing their inflammation. Okay, great. Inflammation can cause all sorts of diseases. It can exacerbate allergies. It can cause uh, migraine headaches. It can cause um, anxiety attacks. There are many things that inflammation can cause. And when we reduce inflammation, these symptoms typically do go away. So if NMN is a better anti-inflammatory than, say, ibuprofen or other drugs can be, then what age should we start taking NMN? And this is where things get really interesting. What we have found is a very sharp decline in NAD levels around 30 years of age. Some people in their late 20s, some in their early 30s. I think many people in their 30s probably do need uh, to consider taking uh, NMN or other NAD uh, supplements. You know, I don't want to be just an NMN guy. And NMN, I, I like NMN better, but if you like NR, it's okay with me. I mean, but you need to get your NAD levels optimized. The difference between someone in their 30s and someone in their 50s is not huge. Hmm. Because most people in their thirties are already deficient, you may continue to go down a, a little more. But the, the important point is, in your thirties, you are very likely to have suboptimal NAD level. So NAD elevation, or I call it NAD optimization, will most likely improve your health and keep you uh, away from serious health problems. So if people in their 20s and 30s should get their NAD levels tested and if they're low, start taking NMN, what's wrong? Like what happened to the population? What I began to wonder is like, why? You know, why are people's levels so low? And Dr. Shi talked about the fact that it's not that we don't have enough NAD in our food supply per se. It's that we are so inflamed that our CD38 levels are going up and we're depleting our NAD, NAD much faster. Yeah, I just can't help but wonder when you think about younger people. I think, well, you know, if they're, if they've, if they're pretty much doing everything right, what's wrong? You, you have about 25% of the young people who are deficient in NAD. 25%. 25%. There's a lot of people like me, and I'm less so than I was a year or two ago, but a lot of my audience, someone pops up and they say, I'm 27, and you know my energy is really low. Should I try this? Oh, and most, yeah. people, most people's reaction is you're too young. No. Actually, I, no. I it's, it's, and, it's, ne it's never too young, okay? I mean, you, you, if... Uh, if that's too young, I would not. Uh, uh, I would not supplement my six-year-old daughter with NMN. So six-year-old, six-year-old taking NMN. This was a big, big shock for me. But it reminded me of taking uh, a medicine when I was nine, ten, eleven years old, and I took it for well over a decade, well into my twenties. It was called Contact, 
And some of you probably remember that, you know, capsule, that time release capsule. You'd take it for 12 hours. Some days I would take two of them when I had bad allergy days. That pharmaceutical was later taken off the market. It was everywhere. It was in grocery stores. It was in drug stores. And uh, it was said to be not safe. It was shown to uh, contribute to bleeding in the brain. And here I was taking it for over a decade. Now, would I rather go back in time and not have taken so much contact all that time and taken basically a vitamin like an NMN, something that's in our food supply already, something that is natural um, in its origin, yeah, I'd rather take NMN. So I don't know, six years old sounds pretty early, but you know, if her NAD levels were tested and she was low and he tried some NMN and symptoms improved, in this case, uh, allergies, then uh, I, I'm pretty open-minded to it looking at my own history with taking what became a banned substance that I took for over 10 years. So testing becomes very important when you're choosing to take NMN at an early age because you want to make sure that you're boosting NAD levels when you actually have low NAD levels. Did she improve when you gave her some NMN? She improved on her, actually on her allergies, wow. believe it or not. You know, children are energetic all the time. I mean, I cannot tell whether she's more energetic or not. Um, you know, one, one thing we notice is her energy symptoms improved. I would not supplement uh, very young children without the testing. Anyone in their 20s, and um, if they feel feel great and they, they can get, get the test later when they can wait, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. If you are very young, young, whether you are a teenager or in your 20s, but you feel tired, you don't feel having enough energy, you definitely should get uh, your energy level testing. Um, and if it's low, then I think it's very safe, very beneficial uh, to take an MN. So a topic that comes up often on this channel is there's 10 to 20% who report not experiencing benefits from taking an MN. And in those cases, I've talked to Dr. Shi in the past about this, and I asked him, you know, why is it? Why do some people that would normally be good candidates for NMN why are they not experiencing benefits? And in those cases, it becomes even more imperative that you be tested, your NAD levels be tested, because you don't know if you're still low. You don't know if you were extremely low or slightly low or moderately low when you started taking it. So if you tried for a couple months to take a low dose or a moderate dose of NMN, and you didn't experience benefits, you might have needed more, or you might have needed to take it even longer, or your NAD levels might not have been that low to begin with, and you've got some kind of underlying issue. With the 20%, um, there are two categories. Um, many of them don't have their NAD levels optimized. They are taking them in, they don't know what their NAD level is high. As I told you, uh, even if you take a, a high doses of NMN, you have about 10% of people who cannot get their NAD level into the optimum range. So they really, the answer for the, those people, I mean, for, the answer for everyone is test. The answer for that 10% or 20% is you better test, kind of, uh, I guess. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't feel uh, any improvement, you definitely must get a test. So the two categories would be you're at an early age or you tried taking NMN and you're not getting benefits. This is the minority. This is 10, 20 percent. Um, I find it perplexing sometimes because 80 percent is great. If you can if 80 percent of people are taking NMN and experiencing benefits, then it's really telling, right? And they're not having negative consequences. This is really important about NMN. It's not just what people report it's doing for them. It's what they're not experiencing. Whereas with medications, you're usually gonna have a long list of side effects. Um, I also asked about some cases where people might have had uh, some side effects from taking NMN. And what Dr. Shi found from testing lots of different types of NMN is that the lower quality NMN, right? The less pure NMN can cause things like headaches, stomach issues, sleep issues. So make sure you're taking a high quality NMN. I take NMN from Do Not Age. Um, he also sells a form of NMN at Gymfinity Labs. And ProHealth Longevity is also a reliable source in the U.S. of NMN. 
you've got some options out there of pure NMN that has been tested, thoroughly tested, and found to be safe. Uh, I wish you luck with it. I'm quite amazed. We're going to continue this dialogue with Dr. Xi in various aspects, but certainly amazing that he gives his own six-year-old daughter in a men, uh, quite astounding. But great to hear that she's doing well. I hope to hear that she continues to do great. See you guys soon.